Today I have a very important and easy quick tip for you, but it's very useful. So stay tuned and keep watching. Hi, welcome, I'm Aryan and I help engineers and creative minds to bring their ideas into reality using SolidWorks with a new easy approach. So if this is something for you, hit the subscribe button right now. So let's get started. All right. Now it's time for you to know what the actual tip is. The good point is the tip is actually two tips and one of them is how to save an odd view. The second one is how to create an exploded drawing of an assembly. So two tips into one video, very useful. Let me show you. First of all, this model is made by Florina, one of my recently new students who enrolled in the course as a beginner and actually followed my step-by-step -step tutorial and she created this switch box with all of its components from scratch by herself. So big respect to her. Kudos, Valerina. I'm gonna use your model in this video. Good. I just created an exploded view of this model. If I put it together, you will see it quickly how it looks. This is the fully assembled model and this is the exploded view. All right, this is just as an example. First thing first, let's save an odd view. What is an odd view? We have front, top, right, back, left, all these standard views, as you can see. And we have three over here, isometric, diametric, and trimetric, which give you some standard views. But what if I wanna have a view from this angle because it looks better and I wanna create a drawing that is from this angle? This angle is not one of any of the standard views, so we cannot save it there. One way would be to just leave it there, rebuild it, and when we go to drawing, let me just quickly go and open a drawing sheet, like this, the template doesn't matter. We get the current view, which is this, right? We could always use that. We could always uh, rotate our model into one angle, and rebuild it and then we get that angle temporarily saved as a view on their current but the issue is you can only do it to one angle what if i want to create multiple odd angles i cannot have multiple current angles because once i change that this will change so let's go back and over here if you zoom in you see we have new view i'm gonna call it odd angle uh, number one and then save it and then we're gonna rotate this a little bit on the inside and I'm gonna save this too. I'm gonna put it odd angle number two. So next time when I rotate this, I have these two. I can just quickly switch to these views, odd angle number two. You see that? Similarly, if I go back to my drawing sheet, I get these views over here. When I go here, just click on that one more time. We get some new views. Right, we get odd angle number one, we could add it here, which is the same as the current, and we get odd angle number two. Now you might ask yourself, hey, odd angle number two was not like this, it was actually way more zoomed in. Yes, it was more zoomed in, and we can actually change the scale of this angle, but the other thing is, which brings us to tip number two, this is an exploded view. How come we are getting a collapsed view in the drawing sheet, which was the question of Melvin, another member on the course who raised this issue on the forum, asked how he can actually bring the exploded view of an assembly into a drawing sheet, which I will cover now. It's very simple, it's just one click, right click, and then you get show in exploded state. Once you do that and you zoom in, you do realize this was our odd angle number two, something like this. We just zoomed back a little bit. So all you have to do to get your exploded view is to right click on that view and then create exploded drawing of that model and you get all of that. By the way, this is not the same explosion that I did here because this is manual and this is much better standard and automatically exploded. So you get all the components divided into the right directions. The screws are going up. These screws on the sides are going to the sides and so on and so forth. Tip number one, we just covered that. We could add a new angle. And tip number two was how to create the exploded view in a drawing sheet. A bonus tip, if you are working with any of the 3D connection space mouse, because some people are, I am, uh, depending on what model you're working with, 
you might get some customized button over here and you could save some views for example i can quickly save a view number one here and then i can save view number two and then i can go here and view number three and i can switch between one two three one two three so it's much faster if you have a gadget like this which is designed for cad users but if you don't you could use the technique i just showed you all right guys one quick announcement if you are new to solidworks if you really want to improve your solidworks skills the fastest way and the most efficient way possible because my videos or anybody else's video for that matter on youtube is not the right way to learn that because youtube is not organized and it's not well structured for beginners like yourself who need to learn the software in the right sequence so for that i'm going to put a link in the description below as always or on the top right corner go check my webinar out because if you are a beginner the chances are that you are making a lot of mistakes and i have gathered 10 of those common mistakes that i am kind of certain you are making at least five or six of them into a one hour webinar where i cover them and give you the solution to them so go fix those bad habits right now and at the end of the webinar i'll grant you an access to a mini course that i have which are eight videos plus two exams and you get the webinar and the mini course all of it for free just click in the link below and uh, go check it out you will not regret it go do that right now i'll see you soon